Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag extend the joint, where every day is payday baby. You tuned in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl Anita Flying High. So, um, today we're going to be tuning in to OL Reign versus um, Chicago Red Stars. <clears throat> and interview sells back. I feel like um the last time I done an interview show, it was like coming back from another international break. Um, so it's like what the I don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It, that's kinda weird, you know what I'm saying? But uh Bethany Bolster got five goals, one assist. You know, her and Morgan Weaver, those are, like I said, we talked about, I didn't, I have to tune into USA and Nigeria to see actually who USA even put out there. But of course, you know, USA won. And, but I just wanted to know, um, you know, who, who, who got called up? Because I really don't know. And then also seeing that, uh, you know, Crystal Dunn might be trying to come back soon as well. And, uh, you know, I've always been watching Chicago. We watched that last match. That was the last match we actually watched. Uh, Chicago versus racing, right? It was a great game for Chicago. Um, every match I feel I commentate with Chicago, they're doing well. So hopefully, this will be a very good match. Um, both teams have great players. Um, well, we have some players on the bench for Chicago uh, that maybe we thought would be starting, but it is what it is. Um, so let me go hurry up and fast forward. Uh, to the starting lineup so we get the audio and you know all that good stuff and get it flowing you know what i'm saying okay ol rain oh man that was pretty fast um i bet y'all okay hold on <clears throat> what is it seattle it's all rain yeah Oh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And uh I don't know if okay, this is all Rain's lineup. Okay, playing in a four three three, yeah. This match happened yesterday, so first director Chris Petrus. Okay, got a little bit of the audio. Okay. And then uh, Chicago playing in a 3-4-3. Three, three. Like I said, they got Pew, uh, Uber. They got even Morgan Garotis back. I didn't see her. They got, like, a lot of players, you know, that could be starting, but they're going with this. Um, and I like it. It's attacking four. It's, it's Chicago just been playing well, you know what I'm saying? So I think they'll have a good game, uh, even if they had an international break. I think they'll have a good game, and I think um, All Rain will have a good game as well. So let's uh, happy Saturn Day! Shout out to everyone! Shout out to the whole Soul Group! <clears throat> from the Puget Sound. And I uh, will keep and pushing. You know what I'm saying? Critical matchup in the standings. Most teams in the final stretch of the season. Most teams about a month or so left to play, Jill, and these teams separated by one point. Laurel Rain enters tonight on 27 points. Chicago on 26 points. Alan Chapman is the referee, two-time MLS Referee of the Year. Underway from Seattle, O.L. Rain in blue. Chicago mm -hmm. Red Stars right, in sweet, sweet, sweet. Chicago won the first matchup June 4th in Chicago, a goal for Mal Pugh, who will likely come off the bench tonight. I mean, I think uh, all Rage should take advantage of having, you know, some of the best players, uh, you would say, in the world out on the field. Um, then, you know, Chicago. But in the result, it's pretty well balanced. I think uh, Chicago uh, might will be on. <laughs> but, and I forget, I, um, I don't remember when I saw O.O. Rain last, so I don't know what's, going, what's been going down over there. But they're a baby Leon, you know what I mean? So, like, I mean, eventually we're just going to be like, yeah, they're just that good because they have the ability to, um, you know, players would want to come play uh, where Leon is named with, you know? 
go more quality players, and we've already seen it, so. But right now, I think they, you know, that what Jordan Hootsma coming over there? Who else is out there? Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, she's one of the biggest names. Now, of course, Lavelle. I think Kim Little's here, and Tobin. You know, the whole ring got, I mean, oh yeah, the whole ring got a lot of pieces out. Um, I think, I think oh, Tobin's over here. And then again, a lot of the uh, the older players, but but still playing well. In midfield, it tights him up. This camera angle is high up on the field. Travel from Australia with Canada, and it's Nagasato to win it for Chicago Red Stars. It was a very interesting game. June 4 in Chicago, the one nothing win. Laura Harvey was Still on. Right. Said, to Rachel Hill, yeah. Offensive games of the season. A lot of just individual performances that didn't live up to the standard. And on that day, both goalkeepers are good. Play, Mallory Pugh, that was the difference just two minutes after halftime. And uh, number five versus number six, right? So anybody that takes a point, if, you know, one team wins, you know, it's a huge, it's a huge advantage. You know, because we're around like four or five matches left. We're <clears throat> four or five matches left, and uh, three points is, you know, it's always, it's always something you shoot on the, it's always something you want to take the, you want to win. Yeah, I know, it's, you want to win. Dictate tempo, <clears throat> but this is Lou Barnes getting forward out of that back, creating a two versus one with Megan Rapino. Rapino gets her head up, cuts it inside, looking for the the run of Heidema, just slightly off the mark. Now it's Alyssa Nair. Started the first of two games for the U.S. national team against Nigeria last Saturday. It's interesting, we asked Laura Harvey about Haitama and Balser in their roles, and she said, well, last time out, the game in Orlando, it was Balser who started central, Haitama Y, they switched in the second half, and maybe the strengths of Haitama make her the more natural choice as the number nine, but I think we know they're very interchangeable. Yeah, yeah and I, I like Balser as an inverted winger. Hill, her pass just a bit too heavy, but a good push there from Chicago, too heavy for Ella Stevens. I like balls are out wide being I'm just very, I'm very interested in why Chicago left so off, you know, okay, say you don't pay Pew, you know, at least, uh, Sarah Uber, you know, uh, she's another player that if she does get on the ball, she does create a lot of attention and excitement, um, because she likes to go forward a lot. At least put her in for Chicago on offense, but I expect to see both of them um, come on in the second half. Um, they're on the bench, they're available. That's in just my opinion. We could see you know, the changes for Chicago then. Uh, but uh, also, you know, they put, you know, Griffith is someone we started to see that was really good as well. Left her on the bench. I'm like, you know, Chicago is good, you know what I mean? Like, you left a lot of some of your firepower. <clears throat> and maybe players were still weak. Maybe me. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just like, you know, maybe they're. I don't know. I just feel like Chicago left some of their good pieces on the bench on this one uh to start this one in a, in a good a pretty important match uh, you know what i'm saying it's a pretty so important it's not match just the goals or the assists but it's breaking the pressure it's moments like we just saw getting chicago out of dangerous positions uh, and i think a, a big responsibility is going to fall on yuki nagasato to get into good clever spaces link the lines see if she can be threatening with her her final pass and her vision to switch the point of attack and also, Rachel Hill and Jill Aguilera to get forward and put more pressure on, on the back line to keep see if they can find space behind the outside backs of the OL Reign, who are just so aggressive in the attack. It's been a proud moment for Chicago, that revolving back group. They dealt with injuries this year. The I hear Chicago at a 5 before, but you see O-Ren getting back, but a lot of, you know, heavy touch right there. But, um, I'm thinking, I'm looking at, uh, O-Ren's midfield, right? They need to get it to, of course, the girl Lavelle, uh, duh. You know, Lavelle, she's in the midfield. You know, anytime 
with you have a player of her ability on the field you you want well you want to see what she can create with the team and help i think uh they're missing uh what's her name uh there's Lavelle just speaking up right now. So, you know, it's always nice when you get to see Lavelle drive with the ball. She has options. She could shoot or she can pass. We've seen her score at the World Cup like that. We already know. But um, that's all Reigns. She's their creator in the midfield. You got Hitsuma up there. She's a taller player. Balser and Rapino. Hopefully, Rapino gets accurate, puts her crosses in. And, you know, this is a good all ring team. You know, a very good team. You got. Um, and they have Hitsuma, not Hitsuma, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, okay, man. I'm forgetting the names. I'm, I'm looking at the roster. Uh, Porta, there she is. Shout out to Houston Dash, former Houston Dash player. But yeah, you have her as well. Uh, as an attacking fullback, able to uh, di distribute into the box. Uh, so, hmm, all rain, you know, from the forwards good team, the box, good team, good team. Facing their own goal, and they've got a multitask. They have to watch the ball. They also have to make sure they watch opportunity those opportunity here so that they can get their body in position, uh. make those clearances, and win it ahead of the attackers. We asked Chris Petroselli about the high press this year. He said, it's kind of simple. We have a young back line, a group that doesn't have a ton of experience. So we'd rather force the confrontation higher up the field, defend further up the field than relying on the back three or back four. Yeah, well, the problem is, is they haven't been able to progress the ball that high to even if they lose it to try to regain it. Oh, Rain doing a good job of putting pressure on really quickly and advancing the ball forward as their first priority. That's excellent. Balser into the channel for Rose Lavelle. Heights him a central. Rapino at the back post. Lavelle over the end line. Clever dribbling from Lavelle, but just ran out of room. And it's Balser playing in Lavelle into the space that Balser vacates. And Lavelle tries a shifty little start, stop, switch to the hip, swivel to the hip, just loses control as she dribbles out of bounds. But it's the counter movement between Lavelle and Balser that creates that space. Direct here from Chicago. Cook slide central. Stanton. Okay, so uh for Chicago, they got um thinking I'm looking at they were highlighting Di Bernardo in the beginning for a lot of her for her appearances. So of course she's gonna be an influential player for Chicago. Uh you know, they always talk about uh Nagasato. Um uh, and uh <clears throat> But Rachel Hill's been getting a lot of the ball so far for Chicago. They need to continue to do that. Um, and because uh, they're getting good, um, good looks, good, good creation, you know, good combinations. And they're in the attack, so it's always well. Um, they just build it up energy to eventually get, a, you know, get some shots on goal. But so far, nine minutes, I feel like all rain has been a little bit better, but Chicago's keeping... Uh, the tempo alive as well. You know, it's only nine minutes, so. Item is squeezed off there. And here's Chicago staff asking their team to hold the ball. Yeah, that, that's the strength of playing a 3-6-1 is you have so many passing options to the ball carrier in midfield, especially they sh short little passes to be able to progress the ball forward. They've just been a little sloppy and careless. High to to Lavelle. Sofia Huerta crossing. Ooh. You know, what a great uh, ball in the box for, and almost the goal right there. <laughs> I thought that was going to be in the net, but just inches wide right there. Unlucky. But um, this was just a deflection off the, I think this is Di Bernardo here. Well, it's not Huerta. And she's, it was like a, the ball was like, far, it was stretched. It was kind of deceptive because you thought it was going out of bounds in a way, but. 
it kind of like stayed in the air a little bit and came down so it was like very nice um very nice placement <laughs> on the ball good vision good accuracy the ball in the box from Porta. that should have been assist you know she would have liked that and then really nice nice goal Balser, good vision picks out Haitama. Good support from Colaprico. And it's all the way back to Nair. She should have just laid it off through Lavelle. No, she tried to just hold it, but. Uh... Been an evolution of this year's team with the addition of Haitama. You had Kim Little for a few months. Trade of Ali Watt. I think this group. A lot of what she saw in preseason. She had to carry this team from a really low position, second from bottom to second to the top of the table at the end of last season, earning Coach of the Year awards. This year has had less highs and lows. It's been pretty consistent from all range. Very tough defensively, and when they're on, some of the better offensive teams. But they could not break through against Chicago in June and looking to break through here early on. With Lavelle. Cook with Hyatt. Now it's Lauren Barnes. Hyatt to my chest it off for Rapino. Oh, this pass Rapino. right back to Rapino as well. She get a shot on. Pass it. Ah. He held on to the salon. <laughs> Alan Tolis Joyce been excellent this season. Six shutouts. She's played every minute so far in 2022. We've seen the. We thought Balser and Heitzman would be interchangeable. It feels like the front four all interchangeable. Look where Heitzman is now. Yeah, I, I think that's a, one of the strengths of Laura Harvey is, is teaching in principles of the game and which players need to occupy which spaces at which times and just so many smart, clever players for a that cool can punish you on the attacking side but so good defensively as well. They've been one of the, the best teams in the league in terms of number of goals that they've given up. Nagasato, Central. Ooh, other way, almost... Uh, Better from Chicago. This team that presses high. Chicago looking you know, uh, Harvey about Chicago's yeah, giving it back. To how it compares to prior teams. So she said, well, it's pretty simple. But now in a back I say this possession be like 75, 25 in the first 15. Yeah, and, and they want to protect that. I don't really have it. They had opportunities. I think just maybe not shots, but just passing. <laughs> They want the ball. They want to possess the tough ball. match away from home. Once they lose tough match hand. late, late in the late in the season. It's a tough match. One might be Bernardo. Andrew Yacht steps. Okay, Lavelle here. Loves it's running past. Oh, I'm taking up space real quick. But Chicago back. Ooh. Is that who is that over there? Who that? Balsa. Okay, Balsa. She's uh, playing on the flank. Because Hotama is here, so she's like, you know, of course, that's, that's look, okay, that's a tough position, I feel, um, when it comes to the depth chart in USA, but she shows, you know, she has the, the ability to be a threat, um, you know, USA could have her as a, a, as a wide player, but, um, you know, right now, I just see her as a striker, so that's where I'm kind of sticking to her at right now because I feel like USA still needs a striker. They need strikers. They have Ashley Hatch. They want to bring Alex Morgan. But they need uh, some strikers, so Morgan Weaver or, or um, 
that the bolster or the the strikers and you still have you know sophia smith now q these type of players are wide players wide wingers i don't want them playing like a striker and of course Catalina Macario, when she comes back she's a midfielder i don't, I don't really want to see her playing striker or wide so it's like yeah, you know it's it's this usa team you know hopefully he makes sure he plays the people in the right positions because it's really talented as well this usa team the world cup is really talented this this it, it's always they always been talented you know what i'm saying but this one once again full of really good talent um and most of the teams are and it's going to be at the world cup they're they're all full of bright potential stars like that you don't even know <clears throat> anyways and these are just based upon what we've seen right because we, we we haven't seen you know how like it, it's just we've been following people's i've been felt like it falling into itself or i guess it's like the third year now you know it's my third year now so like people we have seen oh to go nice well done jordan she gets her goal inside the box the rebound Okay, and she's you know, she can she can finish. So Canada, I'm really lucky to have her, uh, you know, be from Canada. You know what I'm saying? This is what Canada needed because who's gonna replace the go Chris, Chris Christine Sinclair? You know, no pressure, Jordan. You know what I'm saying? No pressure. But the pressure's already there. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but yeah, all right. Unlucky uh, the the second rebound that goes off the the Chicago player falls right back. And you see the first shot with her, uh, I think it was with her left foot, and the second shot with her right foot. So as you see, easy, one, two, in the box, left foot, right foot, don't matter. She's on target. So that's what you like to see. She's a young player. And, you know, who doesn't like goal scores? I don't think that. That's it. So old Rainer up, as we, we expected, right, right, right. Oh. 18 with the 18 minutes here. with tons of space. to her right. to her left. It's Ooh. So close to being second. Chicago. <laughs> Maybe she thought she was in an offside position. And the rain are doing such a good job pressing Paula Brico and Divinarda that they're having to find different angles of support, which opens <clears> them <throat> up on the counterattack. Rose Lavelle has got tons of time and space driving. Oh, ball some shot. Then uh, Tima was there to follow up, but she missed. That should have been in. I just, how did she miss that one? She's gonna, she's gonna be thinking she got that back. She's gonna want that back. That should have been her second row, easy. Is this uh, Rachel Hill? Ain't it off? Wow, it's gonna be tough. Um, yeah, Lavelle's giving a lot of space for all range. She's causing lots of problems. So Chicago they need to fix that. You know, she's creating opportunities. Joyce, six clean sheets already. What are your early impressions of Tolis Joyce in her young career? I think that coming into this season, the rain, everyone had a big question mark of who was going to be in goal because they didn't have Buhadi anymore. And I think that this has been the greatest surprise um, to see how well Fallon Tolis Joyce has transitioned to this league. And honestly, I think it's a massive upgrade because. Buhadi did not transition well into this league from the French league and a corner for Chicago now well to prevent um, playing high off her line and protecting the space in behind the back line because the rain likes to press high so she's got to manage that space she's done a fantastic job as well as coming up with some big time saves corner kick for Chicago
pull up Preco. That one's holy strikes. Very nimble off her line to claim that. In there. <laughs> Early on for Taurus Joyce, Jill, there was a lot of Save of the Week nominees and Save of the Week awards, and then the defensive record really rounded in form midsummer. I think four straight clean sheets for O.L. Reign, but overall, one of the best defensive teams in the league. And she's at the very All right, next Sato gets to Rachel Hill. Let's see. Coach Harvey has raved about her potential, said she is a bright future. There, coming out to claim on that cross. She seems very mobile, very good with her feet. Not afraid to come off her line a little bit. Yeah, that's her bread and butter. That's her super strength. Protects the goal area really well from the services into the box, which makes teams have to pull their service further away, which then becomes less dangerous if they do connect on, a, on an opportunity. Chicago just trying to hold the ball, create something. The ball on the ground was too close to the goalkeeper. That was a good minute or two. Chicago. Central. You know, applying the pressure. Barnes over the top. Flag is up. Lavelle in an offside position. Excellent step, Sofia Huerta. Huerta has Haitama and Rapino. Now it's Balser coming. First time cross in the back post, Rapino <laughs> could not hit the target. Great delivery from Balser. But that's what we've been seeing a lot from Ball Ray. A lot of uh, opportunities, get the ball wide, put it in the box. Rapino's been a bit. Rapino's been able to connect with most of the crosses in the box, just not on target today. Just yet, but three, four. This is probably about her second, third chance, you know, from from a wide ball, and uh, it's working real well for Alray so far. First 20, 30 minutes, you know, good crosses, finding her teammates. That time the move comes off for Lavelle. It's central and clear by Polaprico. She tried that exact touch earlier and went over the end line. You can see the confidence in Lavelle. She does it again. Rachel Hill. I think it's a commitment of the rain when they win the ball to advance forward as quickly as possible. Not not direct in any way, shape, or means, but let's advance the ball as quickly as we can into a more advanced platform so that we can attack. And and it's this ball from Jordan here. So Rapino, see she got her boots on. Oh, she was holding too long. Okay, little cutback. Nice, nice. Ooh, it's deflated. Ah! Hey. <laughs> Dude, the deflection killed that shot. That, that, that was going in too. It had to be. <laughs> it's crazy too, because Rapino's a cancer sub, but she's an Aquarius moon. She's an aqua moon, just like your girl. So it's like, damn. I'm like, all right, Rapino, now we got a cosmic connection. It's a little bit different now. Uh, I thought she, I didn't know, I, I didn't know her uh, moon sign. She has the same moon side. I'm like, well, hmm. 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 That's how I be like, hmm. I guess. Oh, I fuck with Pino. Fuck with Pino. <laughs> okay, she's got the aqua. She's got the aqua moon there. Where to cover us? And you're right about the decisiveness, Jill. I mean, I think um. No, the moon's not in Aquarius. Moon's in Pisces. Picked up by Huerta. 
Stretches cross over Rapino. Barnes back for Stanton. Vanderjoch. Acres of space for Huerta. In front for Balser. For Heitemann, it's headed wide. Perfect delivery. A little uh, quick dive header here. All right, lots of lots of opportunities. Lots, of, uh, mainly from this um, side of Porta. Uh, mainly from that side. Um, Chicago have been. Uh, it's been tough. You got Balser on this side, and. And for Chicago, it's been the opposite on Rachel Hill's side. So, polar shifts, both. But as the scoreline says, Oral Rain are winning 1 0, Chicago losing. So, when these teams met in Chicago, it was much more methodical from Oral Rain. A slower build-up. They get to the final third, but no end product. It's been the total opposite tonight. Yeah, they've been on the front foot. They haven't allowed Chicago's press to be a factor. They haven't allowed Chicago's possession to be a factor. And those are the two things that Chicago really rely on as their winning formula. Not able to do either. Okay, the numbers just didn't really add up in the one nothing loss at Chicago. 127 passes in the final third but only five total shots for Oro Ray. All the buildup leading to really nothing. Tonight, chance after chance for Oro Ray. Jordan Heitema, her first Oro Ray goal is the difference in this one. Dominance from Oro Ray. This critical matchup at the end of the NWSL, these teams Separated by one point and three play tonight. And from Chicago, it's Rachel Hill. Her cross falls Nagasato mm. into the stands. And that all really started with Ella Stevens receiving the ball as she checked off the back line of the rain into the midfield, provided that high option to then lay it off and get the midfield more involved. And then it was a little bit more of what we've seen Chicago be successful with in the past. It looked like 5v3s, little rondos on the side with short passing options around the ball as they move it forward to create. Okay, Lavelle got to this one still. This possesses Kowalski. Rapino top of the box, chops it to her left. Uh, you know, great uh, technical ability. Rapino cutting back in the box, but shot out target. Nine shots already for Oral Rain through the first half hour. Hydration break. Water break from Lumen Fields. Hydration break. And They're talking things over. And Zoe Morris. And Jill Lloyd, and it's really been an impressive show tonight for Oral Rain. So good at home over the years. 5 1 and 3 this year. Primed after the FIFA break to build the win in Orlando two weeks ago. Let's look at the chances they created before the goal from Haitama. See some highlights with the gap. You know, attacking transition. Yeah, you know, class she hasn't had her boots on today. <laughs> Even her. And there's this. Well, they'll show us hopefully the opportunity where she should have scored, I thought. Oh, yeah, this one. That's so unlucky. And 
And then Jordan should have scored her second, like, after she scored her first. Like, she should have scored it immediately after that. But, uh, so this is the replay. See, the first one got deflected off the player. Oh, then show us that other, the other replay of her miss. Oh, okay, it's her first goal. Look, look, look. First goal for the season. Well done. Well done. She didn't. Uh, now, now the floodgates will be open for her. Hopefully, we'll see how she does. Um, but it's really nice to be able to get your first goal for your team. That's pretty funny, right? Cause she did. She got her first goal on uh, nine nine. She wears number nine. Hilarious synchronicities or just Dematria. But anyways, anyways. <clears throat> Let's go. For Chicago, it's now navigating three games in nine days and reintegrating the internationals, including Mallory Pugh and Bianca St. George and others. Mallory Pugh available off the bench tonight, but it's a challenge. When we spoke to Chris Petroselli earlier in the week, he wasn't sure about Pugh's availability, but he knew he'd have to manage her minutes nonetheless with this critical week afoot. Yeah, they can tell that they're really missing her right now. Not only her goal scoring ability, but her ability in transition. And hopefully, you know, uh, we get to see Chicago's um, other players and maybe in the start of the second half. Hopefully, they don't have to wait too long to get on because it is still 1 0. I mean, yeah, I would want to put them on like right when the second half starts. I, I mean, they are, if they're on the bench, play 45 minutes. Ah, this touch. Lavelle's gonna get there, but strike. Hmm. Ah, goal should came out of that. Out of all that, it was just too much ducking and dying. Look, like how many times she like got past one? Well, that wasn't really one. It was kind of like a deflection, but that's kind of like one. She got through like three or four tackles. Uh, and then the shot was just poor. Um, but she could have laid it off to, to Jordan there to uh, Lavelle. She had maybe lost her uh, her momentum when he came to standing. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Oh, Rain don't have uh, Fishlock or um, him little right now, or they're not on the bench at least. been a topsy-turvy season for Chicago Red Stars before the 4-0 win at Louisville, a 4-0 defeat against North Carolina Courage. one nothing loss at Angel City the week prior. Barnes or Rapino? Barnes leaves it for Megan Rapino. Right around the spot, it's cooked! Look, her uh, shot is right almost on time with Lavelle's run. No rebound spilled for Lavelle. just a bit stunned it feels like by this OL rain pressure absolutely I, they haven't had any answers for when Colaprico and Di Bernardo can't get on the ball they're trying hard to find spaces 
a little bit wider. They've had struggled to find UC Nagasato. When they have, they've had some stints of, of, of possession. But the Royal Range press certainly making it really difficult. Free kick. A free kick, kick here. Foul from Balser. Samantha Fisher. Played another game or it's a free kick. And Chicago will play it short. Hill off Lavelle. The next OL Reign home game, Saturday, October 1. Against Orlando. All right versus Orlando. October 1st. Yeah, that's not great. We, we barely started September. They're already showing us October days uh, football matches. Excellent ball. Ah, she had to get there. It was just caught it catching the ball through traffic, Joyce. She's been she's been had a chill night so far. Not not really had to do too much. Most of the um, they've been going in her direction in her favor, easily for her. So so far. Good night, 37 minutes for her. And uh, this match, the ball's been in play most of the possession. Um, and it's been moving the game well. And then again, it could be from, you know, all rings, you know, they've had a lot of, of opportunities, like attacks, they've wanted to shoot a lot. So that has been, you know, kept the, kept the eye, you know, kept the, the match good. There have been pretty good chances. Balser in space again. For Rapino. Perfect pass. Where it's out of the Ooh, should be. Oh, that hit the pole. What the fuck? Oh, that should have been goal right there. Ah, look at her. She said, "What the fuck?" Girl, that was that, that was that was a goal. Ah, that's twice. That's twice. She should have had a hat trick already. <laughs> Unlucky. And on nine nine of all days, she got the goal. She could have had a hat trick. That's wild. On three nines, that would have been hilarious. Three six nines, that would have been a four nine. I mean, anyways, and you get the three points. That's. Balser just seems untracked in this first half. Every time they on the right wing, she has. Well, she's putting herself in these situations to score. Eventually, she'll get them in the back of the net. That's the starting point. You just gotta be there in the position. Feels like they're so concerned with Itama and Rapino and Lavelle. They're just kind of conceding that space to Bethany Balser on the right wing. Well, that wasn't their game plan coming in because they they talked so much about not allowing Huerta time on the ball, which is what we see right here because her service is just so dangerous in those wide areas. Well, Laura Harvey told us this might be the best offensive team in the history of all rain there's been some very good teams over the years here's and the last chance here's that look back a little interchange here from balser and Huerta with the overlapping run plays this across and it just falls to the feet of literally dinked off the post after a listener makes the initial save and Haitama just not it's like sorry away. not today so hard though when you're making that back post run the ball changes trajectory off of the goalkeeper's hands you've got to slow your body down and be able to put that one on frame mm -hmm. now now Huerta, she's getting comfortable getting getting in just taking a shot in the middle of the field in the middle of the field literally she was in the middle of chicago's mittens go ahead you're gonna have a left back go ahead yeah uh chicago man Luckily, be you know only one nil, only one nil. Yeah. 
continuity and familiarity with these players. No, luckily for them, even though um, Oren missed lots of hard, lots of opportunities. And you do have a lot of that continuity with Chicago. A lot of these players have played together for years now. Laprico Di Bernardo, nine combined seasons together in the midfield. Aaron Wright is injured tonight, but she would be a part of that group. Mallory Pugh now, last couple seasons with Chicago. So they have the familiarity as well, but a tough night tonight at Lumen Fields. I think they can get Ella Stevens involved a bit more, see if she can be a, a, a pressure outlet relief for them right now as she checks off the back line because when she checks, the center backs of the rain are not stepping with her and that's giving her some, some time and space to connect. Here's a cross from Hill right at Fallon Toler. He's been like right to her. <laughs> For Chicago, <laughs> pretty much. Aguilera all the way back for Nair. Nair leaves it for Tatum Olazo. One pass by Jordan Heitema. Now it's Di Bernardo in space. Nagasato. A rare moment with some space and time in midfield for Chicago. Wide here for Rachel Hill. Hill against Barnes. Excellent ball. Touched by Cook. Tolis Joy stays home. Hill keeps pushing forward. Stevens in. Oh, Hill. man. <laughs> Great kick given to O.L. Rayer. Alan Chapman blowing the whistle there. Heitzman in the 18th minute. The difference in this one. O.L. Reign has outshot Chicago 13-2. 14 crosses for O.L. Reigns. Seven so far for Chicago. Stevens. Labrico with Di Bernardo. Nagasato with her back to goal. Mm. Like Sato was really trying to create something right here. Like I mean, she's getting in really, in really good spaces. Zoe uh, Morris. I don't know what. Bernardo Nagasato, excellent from Chicago. The switch not far enough. It's one back by Huerta. Pino against Kowalski. Pino's been active again tonight. The reigning player of the month in the NWSL has been a part of this awesome attack for O.L. Reign. There's another cross, this time right to Nair. For Pino, one of her best chances, about 12 yards out, was a really good save from Nair with the right hand. Hills in behind. Stevens making a run central. Rachel Hill for Chicago. It's Ooh. under Tolis Joyce and off the post. One back by Stevens. Second chance for Hill. The slide tackle. But block. Deflection should be a goal. It's a goal. Well done. Well done. Well done. That's 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 what I that's what I expected to see right there. Well done. All right, Chicago. Way to come back right here. Who is this? That Di Bernardo. And then it's 
No, Ooh, I don't know who that is. Someone, someone I don't recognize. Yeah, I don't know. Who is this? Stevens. Okay. All right. Well done, Stevens. In the box. You picked it up. 42 minutes. Stop. Let's change. Like I said, um, you know, Chicago, well done. I like it. Listen, I like it when I see teams that, uh, you know, of all right, you've had a lot of luxurious opportunities. Uh, Chicago haven't really, but they just play well. Um, and I like that they got a goal. And I like these matches where it's like, okay, you know, the other team doesn't put the other team away. And the other team goes and capitalizes. It's the same narrative, but um, you're just like, I don't really see, you know, that, that's your fault. That's your fault. I, you're all right. It's your fault. You're not putting them away. It's your fault. So. Okay. We had the uh... all right. Now let's fast forward to the second half. Let's go. No, no waiting. Let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. One one. We just saw. We just saw Stevens equalize. Underway. Chicago in white. Or rain in blue. Chicago won the first meeting in June. One nothing on a goal from Mallory Pugh. These teams just one point apart in the standings. Now with Mallory Pugh on the field, Joe Lodi, what will you be watching from these sides here early in the second half? Well, certainly Mal Pugh is going to help in transition to be able to. Uh, bypass the press of O.L. Reign, so good at holding up the ball, good off the dribble, always presents as an option ahead of the ball. And they're going to look to find her as much as they possibly can, honestly. De Bernardo forward. And Stevens lays it back, the goal scorer in first half stoppage time. Looks like a different team from Chicago in the first minute. Here's Mal Pugh. Running at where to Pugh's around where to crossing, Ooh. creating a first chance of the second half at early corner. corner kick. Well, that's one way to keep Sophia Huerta at bay. Is Mal Pugh gets the ball in the isolated wide area and runs at speed at Huerta, unbalances her. I was like, is that? Operation looking to fizz the ball across as Ella Stevens makes. I was like, Mal, is that Mal? She has her hair differently. That's why it's, I'm like, who is that? I'm like who? I was like it, it looks like her. I mean, I mean she is running like she's running like Mal Pugh, but I'm like, is it actually her? It is Mal Pugh here on the left flank here for Chicago, whipping the ball in. Um, she just has a different hairdo. So as we expected to see her in the second half for Chicago, for sh for sure, for sure. Um, and now let's see, uh, of course, what her impact will do um, for Chicago going forward. Um, we'll see who she um, came in for as well. We'll sir. Holds off that child well. Good support from Hill. Rapino. Luck. Good help from Hill to slow down Rapino. LaBelle, it's clear. So Barnes for Lopez for Oro Rain. Or Lopez for Barnes, my bad. Okay. Here comes Huerta. Ooh, another shot. That's Huerta and getting up there and and Fisher. 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 You. Chicago Red Stars. These changes took place at halftime. Yeah. 
Who has been hmm. two goals, two Those are the halftime substitutions for both teams. And two assists in one game. A busy few weeks for Mallory Pew. 90 minutes on Tuesday against Nigeria. Maybe a closer than expected score line, two to one for the U.S. And then the more comfortable win on Saturday. She went 64 minutes when the U.S. won four nothing. LaBelle turning away from Olazo. Morse stands her ground. Repta driven. There Easy. comes up ahead of Heitzema. Chicago just getting so many numbers behind the ball, inside the frame of the goal, making it difficult for O.L. Reign to expose them with those services. Oh my goodness, this is awful. <laughs> this is so awful for O.L. Reign, and uh, Pew didn't get underneath that one. Uh, but, but, so lucky O.L. Reign didn't get punished right there. So lucky, just it should have been chill, you know what I'm saying? She should, I thought she was gonna be able to clear it cool and went to her feet pretty well, but look like she tried to just pass it back to Cook instead of just clearing it. You can't try to quote unquote make up for a mistake, and when you chase the game, you're just gonna end up making more errors. So it's important to stay as present as possible in these moments as a goalkeeper, but it's so incredibly difficult. Rapino spinning against Kowalski, and look at Hill come over. You know, it's a corner kick. That looks like one tactical change is more support from Hill for Kowalski against Megan Rapino. That is how the Rain were successful in the first half, getting the ball into those wide channels, looking for service into the box. So instead of just defending the service, they are trying to siphon out those services altogether, getting some back pressure from those backs of, of, of Hill and Aguilera. Rapino from the corner. One of the near post off the Bernardo and cleared. Berta against Aguilera. They cross over the end line. It's a goal kick to Chicago Red Stars. Sophia Huerta, two starts for the U.S. in the friendlies against Nigeria last week. Megan Rapino has won it back. Mena Lopez pushing forward. Dispossessed by Di Bernardo. Now it's Rachel Hill. First time into Stevens. Pew trying to run off it. Well defended by Hyatt. Sofia Huerta will go central. Tried to find Balser. Now it's turned mm. over. Good intervention from Cola Prico. Pew lost it to Vanderjaak. Much better energy for Chicago in the second half. Rachel Hill against Amanda Lopez. Space. Aguilera crossing. Too far for Nagasato. Nobody wanted to take a shot right there. Nobody wanted to take a shot. I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, coming out of half, the priority for the Red Stars was really to find a way to progress the ball <sighs> past this almost like 4-2-4 press of the rain. And it seems now that they're getting Yuki Nagasato 
more involved between the lines, getting the ball into that area, then progressing it out of it to get OL Reign to collapse. A new captain's armband for Megan Rapino and OL Reign for Hispanic Heritage Month. It was designed by the OL Reign equipment manager, Isabella Pino. Reflecting Latinx culture. You can see Rapino wearing it and honoring the Latinx players for OL Reign. Angelina, Marley Canales, Amanda Lopez, Sofia Huerta, as well as the associate general manager, Santiago Gallo. Armbands throughout the season for OL Reign. This month, Hispanic Heritage Month. Now Pew's delivery is headed out. It's a good strike right there. Got a handball for your own teammate. Uh, well, she, 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 uh, how do you say it? She uh, connected to it nicely. Completing her case. 90 minutes for a lot of cook in both matches for the U.S. against Nigeria. It was Cook. For both games, different partners at center back once, Becky Sauerbrunn, the other, Naomi Gurma of San Diego. A lot of national team players represented tonight by these sides. Here's Balser. Running away from Morse. Balser has Lavelle in support. Rose Lavelle for O.O. Reign. Now it's Huerta. Left-footed cross cleared by DiBernardo. Vanderyot wide for Huerta. Sizzling delivery from Huerta. Rose Lavelle. Sofia Huerta, three blue shirts in the box. Man, uh, all ring maintaining possession to this glitchy. Oh, but they had that's on handball too. Their own handball. Do this glitchy. 55 minutes. That was a handball. What the fuck? Ball served back for Lavelle. Defending the box from Chicago. Camena Lopez crosses. What the say? Do this glitchy. 55 minutes. Of the stream on Paramount. Yeah, get, this, get, it, get, it. get it together. Lopez halftime change for Lauren Barnes. Yuki Nagasato. Here's all set. You has popped up central. Stevens trying to turn. Hill wide for Mallory Pew. Bernardo and Colaprico. Malazzo. Chicago much more confident with the ball at their feet in the second half. Good win from Lavelle. Lavelle sprints forward. Rapino trying to bend it for Lavelle or Balser, but it's tracked down by Malazzo. And uh, I think FIFA, I mean, I mean, well, I remember I was telling y'all, we know that. In this next FIFA game, I mean this FIFA game 23, that the two ladies team, uh, the French league and the English league are in the game FIFA. So, but apparently FIFA are not going to make the next FIFA game. It's going to be called something else or EA, something else, whatever, something else. But honestly, I don't give a fuck whose name is on the game. But as long as we still have more teams of the women's league added to that FIFA, added to the the soccer game, and so. Um, to begin the second half. And Chicago Indivisel should be, so, should be like one of the next leaks to be added to the FIFA game or whatever soccer game that is next in installment. Feel. Um, yeah, I think uh, because they have the I think because they have the MLS, I think the Indivisel should be pretty uh, close up. And then they need to get the Mexican League. And then, you know, going to keep going, keep expanding. expanding. All the, you know, eventually all the leagues will be, the women's leagues will be in a football, a football game. And so uh, it's just going to take some time. 
but if they can do it like they've been doing if they doing it like right now how we have two t two leagues we're gonna hold them to that we're gonna hold them to two leagues every every game title uh added to the game of soccer for us to play fifa you know what i'm saying because i play fifa and um you know it's gonna be really awesome being able to play um with the ladies in the game even more for their club teams now so it's it's huge honestly i love it yeah i want to see i want to see how the ratings stack up i really want to know what you're able to, if you're able to you should be able to do like a a career mode with your club and that's what i'm expecting that's what i'm expecting so we so we looking out for your girl the Swept aside by Vander Yacht. Frustration. Laura Harvey, the reigning coach of the year. On the OL Reign sideline. Yeah, Paramount, Paramount's having some problems right now. <laughs> how, how, how are you going to cut to a commercial Paramount in the minute of your game? Because y'all flunk. They, they got a um, Paramount on the recording. I guess they were having technical difficulties. I mean, when they were live streaming the game. <clears throat> and, you know, I pay for Paramount. So, Paramount, get y'all shit together. Get y'all shit together, Paramount. I pay for y'all. Come on with it. Come on with it. You know what I'm saying? I expect no flaws. Well, listen, even Paramount fucks up. So, don't be coming for our next with, with our streams are you little janky as well. Paramount even fucks up. And we pay for that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even the shadow government fuck up. But people be down your neck. Uh, uh, people be down your neck. You fuck up one time. I'm like, hold on, nigga. Like, there's like, wait, wait, wait. What about those other niggas? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just because I'm close in your vicinity? Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, listen. No one's perfect. Thank goodness. All right. 17 seconds left. Shout out to uh, Anita CBD. Join hashtag extended the CBD knowledge. Hey, yo, look at the link tree. I got some some things coming in, or uh, maybe one thing coming in, and I'll give y'all my own review here soon. Okay, I think they fixed the uh, they fixed the stream. They, they hit us with a commercial. Uh, I they hit us with a commercial. Rapino went down, so they're giving us the replay of what we missed. So Rapino's back on the field, look like it. But uh, still 1 1. Okay. 30 minutes left, pretty much. Really, you might say Chicago has been the better team since halftime after the introduction of Mallory Peel. Chicago much hmm. more composed on the ball. Yuki Nagasato, Mal Pugh just popping either side of the double pivots for O.L. Reign, finding some joy in possession through the press of the front four. Stevens could hold up play. Hill on the overlap has earned the corner kick. Many of the things that O.L. Reign did in the first half, Chicago replicating in the second half after a dominant showing from the home side in the first 45. Pugh has Di Bernardo there. They take it short. 
Back for Mallory Pugh. Top of the box. Danielle Colabrico. Okay, don't you. Hey Bernardo. Then Sam Hyatt. The Conquer Red Stars throw it. Taps it in her ninth season. 150th career appearance tonight for Di Bernardo. Are all looking to get in again? Onside is uh, Rachel Hill. Stevens helps it to Aguilera. Evans. Ooh, Pew. Pew still. Uh, but this is cleared up. No, Chicago still fights. This is going to be a throw in. Oh, no, ball still in. There's Nagasato. Ooh, handball, a lot of people called for it. And it's given by the referee. Outside of her right, a hopeful shot hit the hand of Sam Hyatt. And Alan Chapman. Unlucky. Yuki Nagasato has been really influential in the second half for Chicago, finding clever little pockets right on the outside of the double six in between the lines. And she's trying to play that hmm. ball into Ella Stevens with the outside of her foot. Hmm. We needed the opposite side because we only got we got the other side where the ball didn't touch her hand. We got the uh, we we need the we need the, the the side where we see the hand and the ball touch. That's the video we need. Uh, that that's the angle we need. But anyways, I think this is uh, Calaprico. She's gonna take this for Chicago, and she does score. Sixty-seven minutes. Chicago are up. Away from home. Goalkeeper goes the wrong way. Too easy. So 2-1 Chicago. All rain. And have to dig. Um, you know. To come back, what was that? Two? It's only one. It's only one nil, but still, it's like Aguilera was coming on. Oh, this is cooked for Stevens. So try to find life in her legs to see how to two one Chicago lead. Like Aguilera went off for uh, what on him. Kind of also for um, Chicago. So Chicago has made the comeback. More subs now for all rain. Career regular season goal for Danielle Colaprico. Gordon's all right. Chicago. Gotta walk it off. If you only watched the first 43 minutes of this match and you took a break, came back, you'd be stunned by the scoreline. 2 1 Chicago. But I think the second goal is somewhat deserved after halftime. Chicago have been the better team. They put pressure on, they had a a few good opportunities in their attacking third, and, and they found a way to break down the rain. I mean, the rain came out so quick, high pace in the first first half that it, it looked like it fatigued them now, and it's a little bit too easy to play through the defense of the rain. So now I'm thinking about uh, All Rain's bench. I feel like they have, um, you know, they have Taza King and Lasko 
win because of players on the bench. Hey, those are King and Lasko are the only two attackers I see. Uh, but they might have some other players. But, uh, I mean, they have their best team out there, I feel. Minus Kim Little, Fish you know, you know, them. But, minus them, you know, they had really good opportunities. They just need to continue to create more. They can't get tired. Maybe they need some more energy from the crowd. They got Sue Bird in the building. Four-time WNBA champion. Play for the Seattle Storm. Team USA. Unreachable deficit. Not the case in this game. Now P brought the energy off the bench, a halftime introduction. And it really seemed to lift Got this uh, beautiful uh, amethyst crystal yesterday. It's like purple and white. And then I got this one. I got me some of my... Um, the, okay. Tiger's eye. At this one, uh, I ordered something. Oh. And I got my uh, lotion in this from a uh, of the spirit. Solar creations. So you know, got a steady rock the crystals and gems. This is from Lex Jewelry Designs. I'm saying the moonstone here. And then I got the obsidian, the obsidian crystal here. You can see, oh shit, the obsidian with the crown here, all from Lex Jewelry Designs. Y'all can hit, look at our, look at her on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Get your crystals and gems. Um, you know what I mean? Gotta stay protected. And I got my magic wand. My witch wand, my witch wand, or my magic wand from Sierra Waters. Also, you can find her on Instagram at wands555. Well, it's your wand, your magic manifestation wand. Powerful. Make sure you use it wisely. In the second half, with 72 minutes under their legs tonight. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to find ways to continue to create. Chicago doing a good job of getting numbers behind the ball in the width of the goal. That way they're able to defend those crosses. So we're all going to have to find some different solutions in the final third, but surely they will. You hear? Got two runners in the box. Ooh, Yuki. That touch just. Ah, it's too heavy. Midfield was off. Sato frustrated with herself. It was a good pass from Pugh. A bit, a bit firm, but I think a ball Nagasato expected to settle. And that's a combination that we've seen be fruitful in the past between Pugh and Nagasato making that run from the double 10. Saw so San Diego Wave and Washington Spirit were playing. Uh, I may tune into that game. I gotta see if it's on Paramount. It probably, it probably is on Paramount, so I may tune into that see what's going down. What's going down. And then, of course, Houston play tomorrow. And, of course, you know, all the, the, all the English League was gonna kick off, but... Anyways, Houston play tomorrow, Angel City. So, I'll be looking out for you, girl, as well. Um, for the Houston game. And I think, uh, I'm not too sure who else. I wrote some things on the calendar. Oh, we had a player go down in the back. Who was that? <laughs> For all rain. Not giving Lavelle an ankle. First time from Cook. 
Repeat all again. <laughs> Rapino, is that a penalty here? Has a penalty been given? It looks like Alan Chapman's conferring with his assistant. Trying to get this penalty. Let's see. Is she offside? No What's going down here? I need a second look at that. So we see Rapino right there. Is she onside, offside? It looks like she's onside. And you really don't see the defender lunge at her or anything in my eyes because we're going to be looking at the defender. We don't, I don't see her do anything. She's kind of like, she stands back and Rapino kind of launches herself forward. Um, so good acting. Watch, watch her, watch her. But I don't know, watch her, like this is how you hurt yourself, Rapino. Like you could see she's kind of running up on her, but then I think she sees the ball. She's not really going to get it. You know what I mean? And so that's why she kind of like stands back. That's what I saw. So uh, we'll see what the referee saw. Rapino, you wilding out here right now. Because she, she, she felt the first time. And we didn't get to see that replay. <laughs> okay, here it is again, I guess, or something. Oh, this is uh, Jordan's first goal. Be to listen there. And here's the goal. From Stevens. Right in the pretty much the, the end of the first half. Penalty awarded for the handball. And the handball, we didn't get to see the other angle of that replay either. So I mean shaky grounds today. No VAR in the NWSL. Hopefully by 2025 we have some movement in that direction but for now we got some you know some tough calls to make some people would say handball no handball so until we have more uh you know help when it comes to these recordings we kind of just have to go off the replays that they give us and then our intuition and then reactions from the players on the field as well so body language, all that good stuff. Uh, but I think they'll have VAR by maybe 2026, hopefully. I mean, I think they'll have it eventually. So I know a lot of these, um, you know, Kansas City have been talking about. Um, they want to, or I know a lot, I've been hearing a lot of teams, they want, they've been either moving to new stadiums or getting new stadiums. And so, um, so, um, yeah. But the English meet the English meet. The English league may be the first to get it, but I don't know. In the like I said with VAR there comes more responsibility, more accountability, more uh, consistency needing to be across the football field. I mean across the VAR in general, the men's game and the females game. Or just the game in general. We don't need to see handballs that look similar in two different matches, but one's called and one's not with VAR, because that makes no sense. We'll have, I bet you, there's going to be instances where we have two matches lined up, synchronicity, like everything happened like the same, but one was given away, or one, one was awarded one way and one was awarded the other way. And it's going to show us the lack of integrity from the shadow government which we always see highlighted all the time but with the var it's just it's going to be more provident and if you deny yourself the ability to see well then you know hey it's on you but uh var will come eventually uh, and we'll just wait and see when it does 
and how it will affect the game. Hopefully it won't like um, delay the matches too much because we don't want to be sitting here. Ooh, what a great goal here from Lavelle. Well done. She's had a great game inside the box. Uh, but this is just to level it, you know what I'm saying? Get it, Lavelle level. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, anyways, what a good goal. I don't want to take away her goal. But, uh, you know, Lavelle is really, you know, she's one of my favorite players uh, to watch. Um, you know, good goal. Um, yeah. But besides that, 2-2, two, two. it's 2-2, two, two. it's like they had to crawl back, you know, like, oh, rain, they shouldn't, like, be in this position, you know what I'm saying? That's just in my opinion. And so, yes, the goal was nice, but it's just like, oh, rain, you know, I'm not, I'm still not impressed, friend. I'm like, that doesn't, you know, I'm not impressed as an observer, and it's, as what I've seen. Great goal, though, but you know what, you know what I mean? I'm respect, I'm just being respectful, I'm just like, Bruh. you know? It's like, come on, y'all should have been winning already. Um, now y'all have to come back. Uh, and now it's 2-2. And at the end of the day, look, if these two teams take a point from each other, this helps Houston dash. Because, you know, you know, Houston out here trying to do, um, you know, trying to make it to the postseason for the first time ever. So that's our mission. So if these two teams that are below Houston, they're, they're making each other, you know, drawing a point from one another. This helps the teams that are above them. So, uh, scrap it out. Chicago and Oil Rain for this one point. Uh, and, you know, I'll be happy uh, when it comes to the Houston perspective. But if you're Oil Rain, you're like, why, why, why didn't we, you know, why didn't we put them to bed? Um, you know, so. And if you're Chicago... Uh, to me, honestly, the, you should have started your starters. And I understand everyone's coming off that international break, and that's what I was saying in the beginning. felt so, like the last time I seen the ladies was coming off of an international break. So it's like, it's just, for me, it's like, okay, hold on. They're playing, of course, the ladies are playing a lot more football now. They're like, they're coming off international breaks, having like maybe three weeks off, four weeks, and then they're heading back to either like, like a, like a preseason tournament or, you know, they're playing a lot of football. So um, that's why maybe I, th maybe I, think, I think that's why we didn't really see a lot of uh, Chicago's, well, mainly Pew, but and other players. So that's why I'm just like, ah, oh, Chicago. This is a point. Yeah, this, this is something y'all could have done some damage away from home. Um, the way y'all been playing. But anyways, this is just perspectives from both sides. I'm just, <laughs> I've tried to feel. But we got about seven minutes. Um, on eight. All right, so 80 minutes, Lavelle makes the level. Bianca St. George against Sam Hyatt. Oh, L. There we go. Control stepping in to where she left off last season in that double six role where she played alongside Sarah Waldmo. Now that frees up Vanessa DiBernardo to get higher up the pitch. Look for some combination play with Mal Pugh. Look to relieve pressure a little bit by playing on either side of those holding midfielders of O.L. Reign. Pino picks out Huerta. <laughs> Sofia Huerta over midfield. Into the path to Balser. Three runners central for Balser. <sighs> Huerta. It's like there's two subs right there. Oh. So for Chicago. 
free kick Chicago. Change here for O.L. Rain. Ricky Stanton comes off. Phoebe McClernand enters. The other change will be Jordan Heitema coming off. It's replaced by Veronica Lasko. Heitema, her first regular season goal for O.L. Rain. Lasko for Heitema and Stanton for, uh, I think it was, uh, Von Der Gant? Change is going to put for no, 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 that wasn't right. Bethany Balser into a more McLaren? Uh, oh, I guess they were show us. I forgot. I forgot. They don't show us. I was, I was trying. I thought I saw the number, but I didn't. Okay, Mc McLaren. Damn. Trying to turn the corner. Good speed from St. George. Corner kick to Chicago. Okay. Corner. Mallory Pugh from the corner. from the corner for Chicago. Malazzo helps mm -hmm. it on. McClernand did her job. Staying right there inside the six yard box. Chicago play Kansas City next. We had we didn't get to see Sam Ewis, Lynn Williams, Kristen I'm trying to think of the players we didn't really get to see for uh end of itself. That made some big moves. That made some sign big trades, you know, with the, the team the players that made big moves. From North Carolina. North Carolina got tore up from the floor up too. What? Rapino. Inside for Balser. Olafrico wins it back. Turnover. Rapino. Wide. Let's go. Good challenge. Malazzo stepped forward at the perfect time. Seasons at Stanford. Goes down by Kowalski. Throw into OL Rain. 89th minute. 2 2 the score. OL Rain led 1 to nothing. Two unanswered goals from Chicago, but a wonderful goal from Rose Lavelle has tied things 2 2. Nine goal came in the 80th minute from Lavelle. Over the top from Hyatt. Morse. Gets there before Balser concedes a throw in. Rapino wants to take it quickly. Into Balser. Where tough. McLernan. Excellent ball for McLernan, but just too far for Lavelle. Seemed to be teasing and just inviting a header on the far side. Yeah, you can see what she's trying to do there. Oh, well, Rain having a difficult time with the services when they're deeper in the pitch because that allows Chicago to get numbers behind the ball and in the width of the goal. So now they're trying to serve from a little bit deeper, see if they can exploit that space in behind the back line between the goalkeeper and the back line. Restart from there. 
Chris Aquino. First time hit past the near post. No strike was not on target, but good effort. Now in the second half stoppage time, a minimum of five minutes will be added on. Stoppage time presented by Verizon. What a game we've had, Jill Lloyd in. Dominant first 30 minutes to 40 minutes from O.L. Reign. Chicago an unlikely lead and a spectacular tying goal, 80th minute for Mose LaBelle. This is an exciting end-to-end -end football. Both teams having long stints of momentum. And right now it just feels like it, both teams are creating quality chances in the waning minutes of this match. Pew. Excellent. We pass one on the edge pretty easily. Ooh, it should be. Oh, my goodness. Like, she got past. That was. Look, she had turned the Jets on. Rachel Hill, all she had to do was meet the ball and connect nicely. But, uh, damn. Energy and effort from Mal Pugh to get around the edge of Jimena Lopez and Cook. No, that was uh, someone else. That was 14. Right here, all she had to do was figure out how to like, step in. Making that run out of the midfield, making sure to be able to make a resolute tackle on Rachel Hill. Mallory Pugh from the corner. Down to Rubina. Perfect weight for Lavelle. One back by Morgan Catron. Her regular season debut in 2022. She earns a free kick. for Gatron, but she's back on the field for the home stretch of the season. Also a good first touch. Tried to play through Lavelle. Now it's put towards the corner. Rachel Hill against Jimena Lopez. Hill turning. Rides out a challenge. Bianca St. George back for Hill. And your yacht covers the space. Throw into Chicago. And it's Ava Cook off the bench. The substitute. Pew. Dancing through there. One back by O.L. Rain. Lavelle with a touch, but can't get by. He wanted to feet. Instead, it was played to the corner. It's a goal kick to Fallon Tullis Joyce in O.L. Reign. About two minutes left from Lumen Field. If this score holds, O.L. Reign would, would re remain one point above Chicago Red Stars, moving to 28 points. Chicago up to 27. Kansas City current would be one point ahead. Although Rand they play this weekend. English City currently in seventh. It's about two points back to Chicago. Angel City plays Houston this weekend. It's let's go for O Rain. Let's go deflected cross. Ooh, that hit the post from Ooh. That hit the post. And Rapino had an opportunity. Telling you look like O Rain, bro. Like I should have walked in here with three points and walked out. I went home with three points, you know, but uh, right here, uh, Rapino, unlucky, she didn't have her shooting boots today, <laughs> all, all day. Listen, Eric can make a difficult save look easy. Lavelle still running here for the 95th minute. Let's go for Huerta. Huerta right up the middle. Wide for Rapino. Megan Rapino for O.L. Reign. Clearance from Tata Malazzo. 
Oro Reigns still pushing. Huerta. Back for Rapino. Love the Rapino over. Right to Nair. A chance to win. The bell shot right at Nair. What? Some team it's like some teams don't even get these opportunities, but here's the team that is and still can convert. That's it. That's it, y'all. That's it. Wow. Two two. Thank y'all once again for tuning in to Anita's Joint. Hashtag is in the joint. Every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high. Flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'll see you on the next one. Hey, Laura Harvey upset. She said, I'm upset. Hey, 50,000 off. Peace out. <laughs>